Hello everyone, before I get into this video properly, I just want to say that the fights won't have commentary and that's only because I want to upload a video every day this month and pretty much forever now, but I do want to take a break between the 24th and the 26th of December and from that period of time I'm not going to be recording, editing or uploading, so instead of me taking a break now, I decided to have a few videos that aren't fully commentated, just so it's faster for me to get the videos out and so I can continue to get the videos out while I'm on a bit of a break. As soon as I finish this video I'm going to work on the God Speed moveset theme suggestion that someone left a while ago. So pretty much in a nutshell, this video and a few others but not every single one of them that hasn't had full commentary have been because I've just been trying to get the videos out faster and I'd rather get a video out every single day now rather than taking a break from uploading now just so I don't have to take a break around the holidays. So yeah with that being said let's get into this moveset. Keep in mind this is on my level 10 super strength Rose Burke or Black character. He's only got like 25 points and I put all those into key. Not key supers, just normal key. So this is essentially a very low level character but it's still broken. A lot of you guys have left comments saying to do a cheap build and well here it is. I wouldn't consider Mystic Flash or Times 4 Kaioken Kamehameha as my two ultimates as cheap, they're just very strong and I'll get into that in a little bit. So the idea of this moveset is to use Absolute Zero to trap my opponent, then to use Go Go Gum and then to finish them off with Dragon Flash, Bullet. In my opinion, Absolute Zero makes this moveset cheap because if you're hit with Absolute Zero, you can't do anything to get out of it, you can't use your evasive, you can't vanish, but I have heard rumours that if you're trapped in Absolute Zero and keep spamming jump you can escape it but for this build that's pointless anyway because as soon as you trap them in absolute zero you're going to use go go gun to really trap them like there's no way you can get out of that dragon flash bullet for those who don't know can be prolonged if you continue to press the button down which will drain your key and naturally do more damage to your opponent who is trapped in the go go gun if i'm low on key or stamina i can go for a stamina reset and use Darkness Twin Star to act as a bit of a shield. And if I'm low on key, I can use Darkness Twin Star, fly away to create a bit of distance, then use Maximum Charge. Like I said previously in the video, I don't consider Mystic Flash or Times 4 Kao Kang Kamehameha cheap. For Mystic Flash, you will need to know when your opponent is going to vanish. And if you're going to say using Mystic Flash when you know your opponent is going to vanish is cheap, then you also have to agree that back hitting your opponent when they vanish is cheap because you're predicting them and you're making them use stamina. And if you do catch them with a back hit, then they will have to vanish again to get out of danger, which potentially is four bars of stamina wasted. So in my opinion, Mystic Flash isn't cheap. And if you consider it cheap, then you probably should become less predictable, honestly. And finally, for Kao Ken times for Kamehameha, I don't consider that cheap because the only way that can hit your opponent pretty much is if they're standing completely still and if they are standing still then they deserve to be hit with it. I don't consider the Go Go Gum and Dragon Flash Bullet combo on their own excluding Absolute Zero as cheap because Go Go Gum is pretty slow and much like Kao Ken times 4 Kamehameha, realistically the only way you can hit your opponent with it is if they're standing completely still and if they are then they deserve it and then they deserve the damage that's dealt by the Dragon Flash Bullet. It. It's mind boggling to me and I really don't know why Nanko Bandai or Dims didn't fix this but why do they keep absolute zero the exact same as it was from Xenoverse 1? <laughs> why? It's... Oh, what are you doing? It needs to be fixed so that it either has a very, very, very short freeze time, like I'm talking a tenth of what it is now, or change it so it's like Dragon Burn and we can use an evasive to get out of it. I think you can also vanish out of Dragon Burn, but I'm not too sure. I haven't tested it, I've completely forgot. But if you can vanish out of Dragon Burn, then also allow us to vanish out of absolute zero. Before I get into the fights, I just want to say that I really didn't like using this moveset because it's just easy and I'm not saying it's easy because I like to make things hard for myself but it's easy because it takes essentially no skill at all. I really do condemn this playstyle and I guess that makes me a hypocrite because I'm using it for this video but with that being said if you really want to use this moveset then go ahead I'm not going to say that you can't use it or that certain attacks are banned 
use whatever you want but just understand that people will blacklist you and I've already seen this happen and I'm sure a lot of you have as well especially back in Xenoverse 1 I'm not going to mention their names because just let them die in their own irrelevancy but because you have the right to use whatever moveset and playstyle you want that also means that people have the right to for lack of a better word expose you on YouTube or whatever you probably won't get banned for playing online in Xenoverse 2 for using a cheap or a broken moveset and I say probably because if you guys remember when you first started up your Xenoverse 2 there was like 20 or so pages of like a disclaimer in terms of service I haven't read all of it, I don't think anyone has to be honest but I did read one page which said that Nankom Bandai has the right to restrict and ban your access to the Xenoverse 2 servers at any point that they want. You guys can go and research that for yourselves. I'm sure there's a video on YouTube with the full Let's Play or something. I don't know. Do whatever you want. But just because you more than likely won't get banned in Xenoverse 2, that doesn't mean that people won't decide to blacklist you. Something that happens fairly often is that in our PS4 community, someone will pass a screenshot of someone doing something that's like broken or a screenshot of their profile or even the messages that they've sent them after the fights as a warning to the other members in our PS4 community which at the moment we're at like 923 or something like that and because of that we now know to not fight the person in question because they've previously played cheap. So just to finish off before I finally show the fight and this has been going on now this intro for almost six and a half minutes. Play however you want, but just understand that as a community, people will blacklist you, and I've seen this happen before. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching so far, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Mm -hmm. 